Deputy Charles Doze is now awake and talking to family members after being rushed to the hospital in critical condition. He was trying to deliver an eviction notice when police say he was shot by the suspect through a door. Let's bring in Thomas Schultz and Thomas, how long could his recovery take? Blair, Washington County Sheriff's officials say it may take months or even years to recover. They say Doze is one of the kindest, caring members of the Sheriff's, Sheriff's Office, and this shooting has shocked hundreds of law enforcement officers. It's somber because you don't know what's what's going to happen or, or, you know, at the very beginning, you don't even necessarily know who's involved, right? Charles Doze, a 10-year Washington County deputy, was shot through a door Wednesday morning. He was trying to deliver an eviction notice at the Forest Rim apartment complex in Tualatin. They were ambushed at the door. They knocked on the door and they weren't greeted by a person. They were greeted by gunfire. Doze is a civil deputy who serves legal orders, enforces court orders, and Washington County ordinances. With his return to work now in question, deputies are trying to help his family any way they can. But Patrick Altier no helped start a GoFundMe for Doze that has already raised more than $50,000. This is going to be a, a long recovery process, and we're talking, you know, months or years. We don't know what the the income impacts are going to be down the road we don't, we don't we don't know any of that the suspect in the shooting is 34 year old christopher james graves one deputy returned fire on graves but it's not yet known who after an hours long standoff graves was found dead in the apartment bathroom shot at least once it's unknown if it was self-inflicted or if he was shot by a deputy there's no way to prepare or or be ready for that. There's no Altier says in the past few years, three Washington County deputies have been injured on the job. Two were shot. Wednesday's shooting is a grim reminder for other deputies. They're horrified about it. Their, their own vigilance is probably renewed a little bit. Altier says Doze has extended family in town sitting with him as he recovers at the hospital. If you'd like to help in Doze's recovery, you can find a link to his GoFundMe page on our website, kgw.com. Blair. Thomas, thank you.